If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. We have the third hint of NBA 2K22 shown today. I'm going to break it down in today's video. Give pasa to the pack. It is pack here. I say the same thing every video, but please be an OG, join the pack and subscribe, help me get to 300,000 subscribers, and leave a like on the video. YouTube, you know how it goes. If you leave a like on the video, videos get more popular, and that's just how it goes. So please do that, okay? So let's start off with the third hint and what it is showing us, okay? So the hint, here, to get into has been the plug about this. He, he showed it again, so I'm not able to really find one without all this stuff on the screen, but it is hint, right? And then it says, 13058, 15035, 29050, and 25095, right? That's a lot of numbers, right? So we're supposed to decode this in some way, okay? Now, I, just by looking at this, have no idea. I try to do like the, the follow the lines into doing it, and maybe Roman numerals, nothing. I saw no Roman numeral kind of stuff at all. Um, 2K Intel is kind of doing their own thing, subtracting numbers, getting 74, 16, 2, 45, 4, 23. This is easily, in my opinion, their hardest, in my opinion, this is their hardest hint so far. I have zero idea so far what it's even trying to kind of tell us. But somebody in the comments did figure it out. Dintle Seyo. So this is what he got, okay? 15,035 minus 13,058 is 1977. Okay, that's what he has so far. And then 29,050 minus 25,095 equals 3,955. And if you subtract 3,955 minus 19,077, you get 1978. First of all, <laughs> it's a lot of numbers being thrown around right now. And the fact that we think that this is any, I mean, they're doing more than I would have thought because I had no clue. I would have never come up with this in the first place, right? And I feel like I'm good at math but I would have never even thought about trying this. And they come up with a number of 3,955 minus 1977 equals 1978. And everyone is saying that that year is the year that Dirk Nowitzki was born. Huh? I mean, maybe? I mean, maybe? I, I feel like that feels like that's such a stretch. I feel like we're reaching so hard for that one. Now, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know where to begin on that one because that feels like such a hard stretch. I don't know, guys. Maybe. I mean, we're really trying to hard to point this at Dirk, but I don't like that we're focusing on trying to find a way to point it at Dirk, right? Um, to get Intel is thinking that maybe that 2 plus 4 plus 23 plus 45 I don't even know where he's getting these numbers in the first place, but equals 74 and, and 74 years old is how old Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is. If I'm going to reach and I'm going to try to find something for Kareem, maybe that 1978 number that we were given by Sayo is maybe that was the year, the one year that Kareem didn't become an all-star in 1978. So maybe, but I'm, I don't know, guys, this all feels like a super stretch. I'm going to be honest, so far with this hint, I have no clue. The only one I think maybe even has kind of any sense is the Dirk Nowitzki birth date. Besides that, bro, I have no clue. I'm not going to act and, and BS and act like I know. I have no clue on this one. But this next thing is Ronnie himself giving us a little bit of news. So Power DF was saying, look, things that will make NBA 2K22 better in his opinion, right? He said new rep rewards, new leaderboards, like rep leaderboards like we had in 2K16. That'd be fire, by the way. Cross-platform from Xbox and P4. Uh, stage at all times, like, you know, how we have in current gen, not like how we have in the next gen. Uh, VIP, new events not based on my points. I agree with that. And a rep system where winning doesn't matter and your build doesn't matter. It's just like however you play and however you do, you get rep. So that kind of stuff. And then Ronnie replies, he says, also, things you could never speculate or guess. Listen, man, I'm gonna say something right now. We can say all we want about Ronnie, but Ronnie never, ever, besides when he talked about Yeezys being in 2K, ever caps in 2K, okay? The only time he said something that was a lie 
was twice ever in his entire career. To be fair, that's a pretty good record. He lied about Underwater Park and he lied about Yeezys. Ever. That's it, right? And he's saying that there's stuff that we can never even speculate or guess. That's making me seem like there's basically really brand new stuff that we can never even like imagine. That's good news. I mean, that's good news. Especially when you're talking about power or talking with power, who's specifically talking about park stuff. That's making me feel like they're specifically talking about building park stuff that's gonna be new. That seems super fire to me. I have no clue what he's trying to hint at. I mean, it could be anything. But in terms of what power is saying, new rep rewards is, is an obvious. I've been saying that for this whole year i'm we need to want to rep up there's no other reason for us to want to rep up unless there's good rep rewards like not the same ones we had for three years now right um rep leaderboards i want to know who's the best in the world that i agree with that 100 cross platform it's to combine the communities i'm down for that and we can have like a rival day for xbox and p4 um 24 hour stage there's it's so dumb that any up wasn't even in next gen in the first place like what the, except for like the event it was stupid uh, vip i don't really care about that New events not based on my points, 100% agreed. Uh, the events suck in the first place. We had to redo the events from top to bottom. And then a new rep system where winning is not about your build or your play style, agreed. I hate that as a shooter, I don't get as much rep as a center. Like, that's stupid. Now, the final thing to talk about, and I'll talk about this only a little bit, but FIFA 22 was shown gameplay and announced and it was saying something interesting. It's saying that they're gonna have this new hyper motion technology is gonna be in the game, right? But they're only going to have this technology in FIFA next gen. It's going to be the same game and gameplay, but all the technology, all the hyper motion stuff, that's only going to be in the next gen versions while current gen will have like the same and graphically not as cool and that's all it's going to be different so for example let's say 2k has like a new motion technology that makes it seem like really nice next generation stuff but without it it's more animation based on current gen right that would be cool it's a way to not completely change the gameplays and still make next gen and current gen different games maybe uh, we could see that i don't know i'm kind of down for fifa i've been playing a ton of fifa lately guys i've been playing my friends we just hit D3, bro. We killing it. We're trying to go D1. I'm just saying. We're almost there. But yeah, that's it. That's the major news. More than anything, that hint, that third hint, I have no clue, guys. That's that's a tough one. Maybe you guys know in the comments below because I, I can't tell you. Let me know what you think. If you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.